Sweet Revenge is a 19th century Polish comedy and the latest production of the Upstream Theater. Here today are actor John Burkowski and director of Sweet Revenge and artistic director of Upstream Theater, Philip Bain. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. So I'm not going to lie, I mean, when I saw Sweet Revenge, it did not ring a bell in any way. And so there's, a, there's an interesting reason for that. And Philip, maybe start us off and kind of set the stage for how this even came to be part of this, your season. This is an iconic piece of Polish literature. It is probably the most famous comedy in all of Polish literature. It is in verse. Uh, it has not been off stage since 1834 when it was first performed. It remains a very popular piece. Schools, you have to learn it in school. Uh, citizens quote it all the time. And there, there are sayings from the play that are part of everyday speech. So for a Polish, uh, from a Polish perspective, this is uh, a very commonly known, but probably because of the difficulties in translating verse drama and for just because Polish literature is generally less represented than, say, French literature mm. in translation, uh, this this is a new thing. That's why you haven't heard of it. Yeah, so. and so are you the first person to translate it, an there, American I, to translate it? I don't know. There probably have been some other people translating it in the 19th century, maybe. I don't know, in, in, in the U.S. I know there's a British translation floating around somewhere, but um, uh, I think I'm the... Wow. Well, Just, congratulations. I mean, I think well, round of applause for After you see the play, you can tell me how it works. <laughs> right. Well, even regardless of how the play is, congratulations on, on translating it. But let's get, let's get into the play. So, John, I mean, your family is actually, you know, is actually a Polish heritage, right? Of Polish heritage? Is that correct? Yes. Uh, all of my uh, grandparents uh, are were Polish. So does yes. that, as an actor, I mean, does that, is there a connection? Does that affect the way you take on this role, this character, or is it not really important, or is there a sort of inherent connection? It actually that puts a great weight on my shoulders <laughs> because my ancestors are undoubtedly watching. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, I am familiar with, uh, I am familiar with the sound of Polish. I don't speak Polish myself, but I'm familiar with the sound of it. And I, I, I do, well, of course I know this play now, but I do know some uh, plays in Polish. And uh, I did start, uh, my first uh, opportunity on stage was in the interim of acts mm -hmm. of the Julius Słowacki Dramatic Circle, um, uh, which I remember very little, but I was the <laughs> little boy who came out and recited poems. Wow. Uh, in wow. Polish. In, in Polish, Polish, yes. Yeah, very I, good. I, I recited them in Polish, though. I did not know what I was saying. Yeah. You know, because it was not my language. Though well, it was the language, I'm sorry. No, no, sorry. no, no. no. It, I was... it was the language of my grandparents, mm -hmm. and my parents were fluent in it, and wow. uh, my brothers are also fluent. And in these it. plays That's... were presented in Polish well, in St. Louis yes. at this church in the, in the basement. Wow. Um, I was going to say, I mean, let's talk about the specifics of the play and what people can expect because tell me, correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, but you've written it in such a way that it's supposed to be as if 1930s Polish immigrants were doing this right. play. Right. This on is, stage. as I say, a very famous Polish mm -hmm. comedy. And this group, which was active from, I think, 1909 to 1959 or something mm -hmm. in St. Louis, maybe, maybe 1919, maybe a little later. I don't know how, when it started. Until 1959, I'm certain about yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for decades, this was a very active group. They put on a lot of plays in Polish. Uh, there were three Polish newspapers in town at the time. Anyway, w our conceit uh, is to present this as if that group mm. were putting on this play. Yeah. And that framework allows us also to take th what is a very funny comedy mm -hmm. and put it in a perspective that offers us some uh, points of departure when we think about St. Louis right. today. Right. Well, I want to get into some more details and even talk about, John, on your end, how it is to speak in verse that's been translated mm -hmm. by Philip. So we don't have time for that. We're going to take a quick break, but the information is on the screen for you to check it out. Starting this weekend, it's Sweet Revenge, presented by Upstream Theatre Company. It starts this weekend, October 6th, runs through the 22nd at Kransberg Art Center. For more information, go to upstreamtheater.org. But stay with us at STL Live. We'll have more with Upstream Theatre after this break.